Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, Oscar. Hello, teacher. How are you? Ah, very well, thank you. And you? Uh, this is great, man. Nice. This very nice day. It's good to see you. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God, ¿quién me aparece como Fabiola? Eh? Ya, me, ya me están poniendo un nombre que yo no reconozco. <laughs> okay, Natalie. How are you? Fabiola. Eh? Fabiola, si aquí en Fabiola dije yo hasta que veo la cara de Natalie. <laughs> All right. Natalie. Yeah, he was Natalie. Era Natalie. He was Natalie. All right. So, uh, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Good. Bad. Good. 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 Nice. You had a great day. Excellent. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Solo esperamos un momentito. Sí. Ana Beatriz, were you going to say something? ¿Iba a decir algo? Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, how are you? I'm very nice. Nice. Welcome, bienvenida, welcome. Oh, Ember, finally, you are not driving. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's good to see that you are not driving today, all right? <laughs> Welcome, bienvenido. All right. Um, so, Edgar, it's good to see you too. También es bueno verte. No te vimos ayer, Edgar. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Quién más no vimos sí, ayer? Sorry, ahí eh, que. No. Yeah. It's okay. I understand. Yo entiendo. I understand your problem. Okay. It's okay. Very good. Pero de aquí en adelante, primero Dios, ya ninguna falta, ¿verdad? Pero que no, teacher. Okay, perfect. No, it's okay. Está bien, yo entiendo. I understand. Yo entiendo lo que no, I understand. No problem. It's okay. Muy bien. Very good. Natalie sí estuvo ayer conectada, ¿verdad? Natalie. Se conectó ayer Natalie. Okay, so I will pass the attendance quickly. De pasar la asistencia rápidamente para que ya no nos retrasemos. So we don't... Um, we don't have any problems with the activities, okay? So, let me pass the agenda. Le pasaré rápidamente la asistencia en todo. Ana Abigail. Nacha. Ana Beatriz. Present. All right. Carlos David. Sí. Y eso que de que empecé, empezamos a enviar. I'm here. All right, excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's see. Veamos, Ember. Ember. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Sarah. I'm here. Thank you, Sarah. Jacqueline. I'm here. All right, Jacqueline. I'm here. Thank you. Jorge Eduardo. Jorge. Jorge no se nos conectó ayer, ¿verdad? Tampoco. Juan Carlos. Eunice. Tampoco se nos conectó ayer, Eunice. María Elena. María Elena. Mauricio. Present. All right. Thank you. Mr. Gavarrese. Hello. Hello. Present or not present? I'm here. All right. Nestor. 
Néstor, Isla Fier, ok. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Roxana. Wendy Natalie. I'm here, teacher. All right. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. Great. And Yesenia Marisol. Yesenia not connected, right? All right, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. So listen, um, from yesterday, the idea, from yesterday, you have a conversation to present today. Tienen una conversación que presentar hoy. I didn't forget, no se me olvidado. I didn't forget, okay? So everybody practice a conversation, right? And I said, tomorrow you are presenting the conversation, I said, okay? Eso le dije, tomorrow you are going to present the conversation. We are in tomorrow. Ya estamos en ese día, we are in tomorrow. So it's your time to present the conversation. Ahora vamos a presentar la conversación. So I don't know, um, Oscar Arnulfo, who is your pair, Oscar? My partner is Jocelyn. Okay, so Jocelyn is here. So are you ready? Ready. Good. We listen to you, le escuchamos. We listen to you. Okay. Hello, Oscar. I have a question. Who scheduled the meeting next week? Hey, Jocelyn, well, my boss Mario making schedule the meeting next week. I see, but if Mario is programming the cleaning day too. Uh, guess what? I am attending the cleaning day. So great. Uh, so I am informing informing the committee about it. All right, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, excellent conversation. Let's give them thumbs up. Demosle deditos así como like a Facebook. Let's give them thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you, Arnulfo and Jocelyn. Gloribel, who is your pair? Gloribel, who is your pair? ¿Quién es tu pareja? Who is your pair? It's Wendy Natalie. Wendy Natalie. We have Wendy Natalie here. Wendy Natalie here, sorry. Are you ready, Wendy Natalie? Yes, teacher. Okay, we listen to you. Let's listen. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline. I have a question. Who is the report of next month? Hey, Wendy. Well, Erica is, but Susan is sending report next month. Um, who is organizing of Mont Party? Boss is. Okay, bye, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Great conversation. Short, but great. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's give them thumbs up. Thumbs up for uh, Natalie and Gloribel. Thank you very much, very good. Yeah, okay, let's see, um, Mauricio. Who is your pair, Mauricio? Who is your partner? Is Jacqueline. It's Jacqueline, but Jacqueline, Jacqueline is not present. Oh, oh yeah, she's present now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Jacqueline. Okay. No, uh, hello, Jacqueline. I have a question. Who is sending the documents the next month? Hey, Mauricio. Well, Pedro is who is the attending the clients the next week? I am. I attending the clients the next week with Hector, the new accountant. I am attending the clients the next month. Okay. It's only, with finish. Only. A mí se me quiere. 
Do you want to repeat it? Can you repeat it? Do you want to repeat it? Yes. Yes, okay, repeat it then. Repeat it. It's okay. Hello, Jacqueline. I have a question. Who is sending the next, who is the sending the documents the next month? Hey, Mauricio. Well, Pedro is, who is attending the clients the next week? I am. I attending the clients the next week with Hector, the new accountant. I am attending the clients the next month. Y only. Only that. Okay, thank, you. <laughs> only that. Okay, thank you. That's okay. It's perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Great job. So let's give them thumbs up. Demos le thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up. Come on, everybody. Let's give them thumbs up. Good. <laughs> Great job. All right. Let's see. Um, Sarai. Sarai, who is your pair? Sarai, who is your partner? Hi, Sarai. Who is your partner? Juan Carlos. Ah, Juan Carlos is not present. All right. Oh, he is. All right. He's not present. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Ana Beatriz. Who is your pair, Ana Beatriz? Roxana. And Roxana is not present, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Veamos. Jocelyn. Who is your pair, Jocelyn? Oh, ya lo hizo, Jocelyn. Yes, that chair. I'm sorry. Oscar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right I'm sorry about that. Nestor, who is your pair, Nestor? We don't hear you, Nestor. No se te escucha, Nestor. We don't hear you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good Please. evening. Who is your pair? ¿Quién es tu pareja? Who is your pair? Abigail. Abigail. Is Abigail connected? No, right? No está conectada, Abigail. Okay. Ember, who is your pair? Sorry, teacher, I not participated. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's true. I remember you were not connected at the end. Uh, Mr. Cabarrete, who is your pair, Mr. Cabarrete? Okay, eh, con... Es María Elena. Is María Elena present? No, right? Sorry, Mr. Cabarrete, she's not present, okay? ¿Alguna pareja que se completa? Any complete pair? No, right? I don't think so. All right. So, Hazel, do you want to read your conversation? Hazel, ¿quiere leer la conversación? Okay, teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos, say, hello, Hazel. I have a question. Who scheduled the events at your workplace? Hazel. Hi, Juan Carlos. The schedule is organized with my boss and you. Juan Carlos say I am meeting with my boss and something only I. What are some events that are taking place the next week? Hazel, I am having meeting in the next week on Friday and I am attending that client in the afternoon. What about you? Juan Carlos say, well, I am having an international visit on Thursday in this week, and I am calling to my colleague to my colleagues next week. Hazel, you are very busy these days. Juan Carlos say, yes, a lot of will go to see you. Hazel, bye bye. Okay, Hazel, bye bye. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Hazel. Let's give Hazel thumbs up and Juan Carlos, let's give them thumbs up. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you very much. Nestor, do you want to read your conversation? Oh, Roxana is connected, I think. Con quien iba Nestor con Roxana, right? Nestor, are you, is Roxana your pair? Roxana. Okay, no, Roxana. Abigail. Ah, Beatriz. Roxana. Beatriz, yo. 
Ah, Beatriz, okay, Roxana is connected. Roxana, are you ready? Ay, me duele la cabeza, teacher. Ahorita me voy conectando. <laughs> Pero sí. Is right. the conversation, Roxana. Es así, solo presentar la conversación. Ahorita, teacher, déme un segundito, un segundito. Ok. So, in the meantime, mientras tanto, in the meantime, um, so Néstor, do you want to read your conversation? ¿Quieres leer tu conversación, Néstor? Teacher, lo, lo siento, yo solo tengo lo, lo que me correspondía. ¿no? Ah, it's okay, no problem, no hay problema, no problem. So, Roxana, okay. I'm sorry about the sí. headache. Lo siento acerca de ese dolor, I'm sorry about the headache. Ay, sí. Ahorita voy con Beatriz. Okay. Hello, Beatriz. How are you? Hello, Rosana. Uh, very nice. And you? I'm fine. Uh, tell me about you. Where do you work? Uh, I am working in McCormick Company. And you? Oh, I work in Moi Plus. I had a question. How is schedule the event at your workplace? Is a manager project. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. right, writing. Take your notes, no problem. Okay, okay. Uh, manager project in writing report every day. Do you attend the presenting? Yes. I see next to is um, is meeting projects the CCI. Oh, so great. Well, was I am representing a CCI project. You okay. attend the presenting. Continue, continue. Continue. Ah, uh, adelante. Nos saltamos una sí. Is ahí. You attend the presentation. Yes, it's a presentation a CCI project. So great, Beatriz. Well, I creo que fue que me comí algo en clase entonces. Finish, teacher. It's okay, no problem. I know you finished it. Yo sé que la terminaron. I know you finished it, okay? Okay, thank you girls. Muchas gracias, chicas. Thank you girls. So let's give them thumbs up. Demos le thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up, please. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Great job. Do we have any, any other pair which is complete? Tenemos otra tarea, otra pareja, perdón, que esté completa? I don't think so, right? Good. So let's go to the next activity. So let's see. Do you remember yesterday's topic? Recuerden el tema de ayer. Do you remember yesterday's topic? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Good. Um, what was yesterday's topic? ¿De qué trató el tema ayer? What was yesterday's topic about? Refresh my mind, please. Who is the schedule the event at workplace? That's right. We studied schedule events or events for the future. Events for the future. And what is the structure to speak about the future? Y cuál era la estructura para hablar acerca del futuro, de los eventos futuros, about the future events? Um, Sujeto. Sujeto. Yeah, that's right. ING in the verb. And at the end, yeah, al final de la oración, at the end of the sentence? Ah, uh, is the future. A future what? 
um, the time, for example, tomorrow, next yes. week. Yes, Jacqueline. A time expression in future. Una expresión en futuro. Una expresión de tiempo en futuro. Okay, for example, tomorrow. Tomorrow, next week. Next week, next month. Next month. Monday, on, here on Thursday, yes. Thank you, Jacqueline. So, now listen to my example. I am checking email tomorrow. I am checking email tomorrow. Is my example correct or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. What about the others? Y los demás que piensan, is it correct or incorrect? Repeat, please, teacher. Okay. I am checking email tomorrow. It's correct. It's correct. And it's for future. Another example. Another example. Another example. Um, she is attending a meeting the next week. She is attending a meeting the next week. Correct or correct? Correct. Sorry? Correct. It's correct. It's correct. She is attending correct. a meeting. Nice. Another example. All right. There you go. Aquí vamos. They checking merchandise the next month. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 So what is missing? ¿Qué falta? What is missing? The verb you use. Aren't. 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 So I say they are checking merchandise the next month. Very good. Another example. Um. Mauricio is attend a meeting tomorrow. Correct or incorrect? Repeat, please, teacher. Okay, let me repeat for you. Mauricio is attend a meeting tomorrow. Incorrect. Correct. So what is correct? What is correct? Mario. Mauricio. Mauricio. Attending, exactly. Attending. Si el verbo no lleva ing, is incorrect. So you say Mauricio is attending, attending a meeting tomorrow. One more example. Un ejemplo más. One more example. Nestor is not. Okay, negative. Nestor is not. Sending emails tonight. Attending. Okay, okay, listen again. Nestor is not sending emails tonight. Correct. 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 Oscar Anulfo, you said correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Just that it's in negative. So look at the negative. Okay. Good. One more example. Um, we are we are attend a class tomorrow. Incorrect. 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 What is correct? ¿Qué es correcto, Mr. Cabarrete? What is correct, Mr. Cabarrete? Are attending. Attending. We are attending a class. Tomorrow, an English class tomorrow. Excellent, that's very good. Tomorrow. Another example. Um, let me see. We are working tomorrow. We are working tomorrow. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. We are working tomorrow. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Very good. So that's a, just a little review. Ese es un pequeño repaso nada más. It's just a little review about the topic, okay? Solo déjenme ver que aquí alguien escribió el chat. Ah, okay, ya. Yeah. It's Maria. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's move on. Movámonos entonces a la siguiente actividad. Let's go to the next activity. Okay. So listen, in the next activity, I have two questions. Question number one. 
Who is the first, the first? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? ¿Quién es la primera persona que llega al trabajo? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Don't tell me. Ahorita no me digan, don't tell me now. Just think, solo piense. Question number two. Pregunta número dos. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? ¿Qué es la primera cosa que haces cuando llegas al trabajo? What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Right? Maybe you can say, I turn on my computer. Yo, yo enciendo mi computadora. Or I say good morning. Yo digo buenos días. I say good morning. Or I open the door. Or I open the company. I don't know. No sé qué hacen ustedes. I don't know what you do. Okay? Yeah. If you ask me, teacher, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And I say, it's Sonia Armidia. Sonia Armidia is the first person to arrive at my workplace. Teacher, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I say, good morning. And I sign the attendance. Firmo la asistencia. I sign the attendance. Okay? Very good. So think about the answers. Piensen en las respuestas. Think about the answers. Think about the answers for the question. Uh, how do you? How do you? How do you say to la computadora, dijo? How do you say? ¿Cómo en encender la computadora? You say turn on. turn on the computer. I turn on the computer sería la oración. I turn on the computer. Turn on. Okay, thank you. Yes, turn on is encender. Turn on the, the air conditioning, turn on the computer, okay? Teacher, la, la primera persona que llega al trabajo dijo en la primera pregunta. ¿verdad? That's right. Eh, y si no sé, porque hay como turnos de noche, entonces como que <ríe> va continuo, o sea, <ríe> nunca cierran y... Ok, pero en su horario... ¿Cómo puedo responder? Pero en, en su horario... Ay, mi horario. Uh -huh. eh, igual, no, no sé, porque... Como en, la, en toda el área también hay turnos rotativos, hay en turno de anoche. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. So you say, I don't know. Al invento. So you say, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. I don't know because we have different schedules. Puede decir, we have different schedules. Tenemos diferentes horarios. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because we have different schedules. Puedo, podría decir. Podría decir. Entonces, Hey, Jacqueline, did you finish? No, I have a question. Yes, go ahead, adelante. Si, si yo soy la primera, tuviera que decir, it's... I am. Okay. I am the I first am. one. Solo I am. I, I am the first person to arrive at the workplace. I am the first person to arrive at the workplace. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, what is yes? Sorry? Yes. yes. Okay. No se te escucha muy bien, Ember. ¿Y ahora? Yes, ver, mejor. Uh, get, ¿qué significa? Get. In this case, get is llegar, in this case. Normalmente okay. get significa conseguir o obtener, pero en este caso, when you get to your workplace, cuando llegas a tu trabajo, get is llegar in this case, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Yeah. Ready? ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Okay, I will stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir ahorita. I will stop sharing right now. 
So the questions are on page. Las preguntas están en la página. Let me see. Let me see here. It's activity one. They are on page in the página. They are on page 31 in the página 31. They are on page 31. Okay. So you can look for them over there. So are you ready? Están listos? Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, let's see. Veamos. Oh, okay, Nestor, are you ready, Nestor? Yes. Yes, all right. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, I think I think is the cleaning staff. Okay, very good. What the is the, okay, the, the cleaning staff, it's okay. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? The store, bye. Yeah. What is the first uh, thing you do when you get to your workplace? Do you check the email? What? I, I, I check the system, security system. All right, very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Nestor. Select somebody, Thank Nestor. You. Okay, elige a alguien. Um, Mauricio. Okay, thank you very much. Mauricio? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace, Mauricio? Yeah. All right. Uh, you are. Tú eres. You are. Yeah. You are the one. Very good. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you, drink, you drink coffee. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a must. El deber llama, right? It's a must. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mauricio. Select somebody, please. Elige alguien. Select somebody. Uh, Who? Jacqueline Gorita. Ah, uh, Jacqueline. Okay, ask Jacqueline the questions. Tu pregunta a Jacqueline, entonces. Yo ask Jacqueline. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Jacqueline, yo vea. <laughs> Jacqueline Gloria Bell or Jacqueline ah. Mauricio? Sí, Gloria Bell. Ah, Gloria Bell, okay. Is my coworker Alba? What is the first thing you do to try to get to your workplace? Mark a right time. Okay, thank you very much. Gloribel, tell me a letter. Dígame una vocal. Dime una vocal. A vowel, please. Any vowel. Cualquier vocal. Any vowel. Eh. Sorry? Eh. No, another vowel. Otra vowel. Ah, eh. Eh. It's okay. Eh. Eh. Okay, let's listen to Edgar. So, Jacqueline, you ask Edgar. Tú le preguntas a Edgar. You ask Edgar. Edgar, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, normally, I am. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I clean my station. Okay. Thank you very much, Jacqueline and Edgar. Edgar, tell me a consonant. Dime una consonante. Tell me a consonant. Um, veamos. <laughs> este... B. 
B, Beatriz. <laughs> Thank you very much, Edgar. So, Edgar, you ask Beatriz. Tú le preguntas a Beatriz. You ask Beatriz, all right? Okay. Beatriz, uh, what is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And the person to arrive early. Okay. What is the first thing you do with your work? You head to your workplace? I say hello and wash my hands. My hands. Okay. My yeah, my hands. Wash my hands. <laughs> Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Edgar and Ana Beatriz. So, Ana Beatriz, tell me a consonant. Dígame una, una consonante, tell me a consonant. C? C, let me see, veamos, letter C. Another one, otra, another one. Uh, N? Letter M, thank you very much, letter M. So with letter M, we have, let me see here, Jack, Maria. So, Ana Beatriz, you ask Maria the questions, okay? Okay. Maria, why is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Um, we have different sketchup. Right. Uh, what is the first thing you do when do you get to your workplace? I am say hello and open logbook. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, everybody, for your participations. I appreciate that. Ahora sí, casi todos me salieron que llegan temprano, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right, that's excellent. I, be, I trust you. Yo confío en ustedes. I trust you, okay? I know you are early birds. Yo sé que son pájaros madrugadores. You are early birds. En inglés es muy común esa frase. You are early birds. Pájaros madrugadores, los que madrugan. Okay? So you can say, podrían decir, I am an early bird. I am an early bird. Okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Okay. Next, we have a conversation. All right? So let's check the conversation quickly. I give you two minutes. I give you two minutes. In two minutes, read the conversation and try to process information and remember. Traten de procesar la información y recordar and remember information. So, two minutes. Read the information and try to remember some information. Traten de recordar alguna información. Try to remember some information, okay? Ready? Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Read and remember. Lean y recuerden, read and remember, okay? Okay, let me show you, déjenme mostrarles, let me show you. Two minutes, read and remember. Leamos y tratemos de recordar.
I have a question. Yes, what the is the question? The expression to pick up the letter is, com is tipping. The expression? Eh, la expresión que pick up the letters es ah. como al final dice recoger to Ajá. pick up the letters es yeah. como recoger como recoger recoger las cartas Ajá. pick up the letters maybe in the mailbox tal vez sería en el buzón ah. yes. gracias ya yeah, es okay Okay, two minutes, right? Do you have a minute? I said two minutes. Now, I, I ask. Do you remember some information? Recuerdan alguna información? Do you remember some information? Yes? Now, please yes. look at the camera. Todos viendo la cámara. Everybody looking at the camera. Not at the photocopy, not at the handout. No a la fotocopia, no al material. Looking at the camera. Everybody looking at the camera, Rosana. <laughs> Mauricio, everybody looking at the camera. <laughs> All right. A Mr. A Mr. Nelson Gabarrete, si no puedo ver, si está viendo a la cámara. Si está oscuro por ahí, está bien aquí. Ahí sí me, no, no sé cómo voy a hacer. All right. Good. Question. Question number one. Look at the camera. Miren la cámara. Question number one. What is Raúl doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Raúl? What is Raúl doing? Planning a video conference. Exactly, Rosana. Raúl. He's planning a conference. He's planning a conference. Okay, he's planning a conference. Very good. Second question. Second question. Looking at the camera. Mirando la cámara. Looking at the camera. It's about to remember. It's about how much you remember. Se trata de qué tanto recuerdan. Okay. Question number two. Who is quién, verdad? Who is quién? So. Who is getting ready for the conference? Who is getting ready for the conference? Right. Jack, look at the camera. <laughs> Estaban hablando. <laughs> it's okay. I'm kidding. It's from Yander. So, who is getting ready for the conference? Uh, the new team, Charlotte. Exactly, Amber. The new team. The new team. Thank you, Amber. The new team. El nuevo equipo. The new team or the team. Question number three. Pregunta número tres. Question number three. Um, what, what time what time does Raul get to work? At 7 or 7.30. 6.30. 6.30. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. At 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 Check. 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 Exactly. exactly. The first thing is he checks email. Good. What about Ryan? What time does Ryan get to his workplace? Ryan. Not Raul. Ryan. At about 7 or 7.30 or seven a.m. At about 7 or 7.30 a.m. Oh my God, you have a good memory. You have a good memory. I have a terrible memory. Okay? You have a good memory. You have a good memory. All right, let's go to the conversation again. Vamos otra vez a la conversación. Let's go to the conversation again. So this time, esta vez, this time, listen to the pronunciation. Escuchemos la pronunciación. Okay, so pay attention to pronunciation, please. 
Pongan atención a la pronunciación. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. All right. This time, listen and repeat with the microphone off. Vamos a repetir con el micrófono apagado. Aquí lo voy a estar monitoreando. Mantengan su cámara encendida. El que no esté pronunciando lo vamos a poner a pronunciar toda la conversación solito. Ok. Good. Ok, let's do it. Let's repeat. Repitamos. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the, with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, very good. Um, so, you know, we always do this activity for pronunciation, right? Siempre hacemos una actividad para pronunciar la conversación, to pronounce the conversation, right? And for this, you practice in pairs. Para esto, siempre practican en parejas. You always practice in, in pairs, okay? So let's make pairs. Hagamos parejas. So let's go and practice, please, for three or four minutes. Tres o cuatro minutos. So practice taking turns. Practiquen tomando turnos. Okay, take turns please in the conversation, all right? All right? So let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice. Okay.
experience with the new thing in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready, ready, ready for conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I actually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first things I do it is to check my email and your and you well I arrive at 7 or 7 30. 30. It depends on traffic. My field activity is to pick pick up pick up the letter. Okay. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new thing in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get it? your workplace, what is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at the 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is so I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our day, the team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up all the letters. Okay, I start. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7.00 or 7.30, it depends on traffic. My first activity is to thing you do. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive 7 or 7, depending on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am playing a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting rooms. See, what time do you usually get to your work? 
I usually arrive six thirty at six thirty. And the first things I do check emails and you uh, I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to drop the letter. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Uh, right now. Yes, it is. They are getting the, ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? Uh, Usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing do is to check my email and you? Mm. Uh, and well, I write uh, 7 or 7 till it depends on traffic. My free activity is pick up the letter. Okay. Creo que ya los van a sacar Natalia. Ya... Bueno, ya bye. Si sí, ya lo pasamos. Bye, bye Nelson. Ok, everyone. Um, so, can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear yes. Me? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. I had a little problem. I had a little problem with the internet connection, so uh, that's why I'm asking you. Por eso le estoy preguntando. Very good. So, uh, did you finish your conversation? Terminaron? Did you finish? Was the time enough? Was sufficient the tiempo? Yes. All right. So let's yes. listen to three pairs only. So vamos a escuchar tres parejas. Let's listen to three pairs. All right. So Amber, who is your pair? Nestor. Okay, go ahead. We listen to you. We are all ears. It's Nestor. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am painting a video conference. Oh, the conference, why the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing, doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first things do you? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick, pick up the letter. That's all. Great pronunciation. Bonita pronunciation. Great pronunciation. Thank you very much. I can see you practice a lot. Veo que practicaron mucho. I can see you practice a lot. Okay, very good. So let's see, um, Sarai. Sarai, who is your pair, Sarai? Jacqueline. All right, are you ready? Ready. Puede compartir, Jacqueline, please. I start. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with a new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. 
I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first things you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and do. Well, I arrive at 6, at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Nice. Very good. It's excellent, girls. Great pronunciation. Muy bonita pronunciation. Very good pronunciation. Okay, so thank you, girls. Muchas gracias. Let's listen to our last pair. Una última pareja. To our last pair. All right, let's listen to... Uh, let me see. Edgar. Who is your pair, Edgar? Hi, uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn is your pair. So, Jocelyn, are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. All right. Adelante. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Jocelyn. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference. What new team in San Salvador? What is what is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually do to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 uh, a.m. And the first thing I do is do is to check my email. And you? Well, I write at 7 o'clock or 7 30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up letter. Excellent. That's very good. Excellent pronunciation. I can see everybody practice a lot. Thank you, Edgar and Jocelyn. Thank you very much. All right. Because of time, we, uh, we listen only to three pairs, okay? But I know everybody practice. Pero como siempre, yo sé que todos practican mucho. So congratulations, everybody. So let's go to the next activity. But before, antes, before, I will pass the attendance again. Les pasaré asistencia otra vez. So please, Pay attention carefully. Ana Abigail. Ana Abigail. Se había conectado Abigail, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Or I am mistaken. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Rosa Vil. Present, teacher. Okay. Yo como tanto veces que me mató. Edgar. Present. All right. Ember. Present. Saraí. Saraí. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jacqueline, you said? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, perfect. Jorge Eduardo? Mm -hmm. Jorge? No, right. Juan Carlos? No. Oh, my God. Eunice, no, right? Eunice no se ha conectado a uno. No, right? Good. Okay, Mauricio? Fiona, teacher. Oh, Maria Elena, sorry. <laughs> Maria Elena? Maria Elena. Hi, teacher. All right. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Mauricio. <laughs> Mauricio. Okay. Nelson. Sí. Nelson. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, Nelson. Nestor. No, right. I'm here. 
Yes, 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 me. Ya, ya le puse. I'm here. Ok. Néstor is here. Ok, Néstor is here. Ok. Oscar. All right. Rosana. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Wendy Natalie? Yeah. I'm here, teacher. Jacqueline Glory Bell? Present. Jocelyn? I'm here. Yesenia? No, right. Yesenia no está. Okay. So, um, it's time for the little break. Es hora del, rec del receso corto que tenemos. Ya me pasé algunos minutos. So let's take two minutes. Tomemos dos minutos, por favor. Let's take only two minutes, okay? So let's go. Vamos a un receso de dos minutos. Two minutes, please. Ten seconds, diez segundos, ten seconds, five seconds, cinco segundos, five seconds, let's come back, please, regresemos, five seconds, time is over, se terminó el tiempo, time is over. All right, so um, let's carry on, continuemos, and listen, uh, for this part of the class, for this second part of the class, right, solo antes de, de que vayamos a algo muy importante, solo quiero mostrarles siempre en... Las fechas para la sesión privada. El día de ayer le correspondía a Loida, yo hice, pero ella no se conectó el día de ayer, ¿ok? Así que solo déjenme compartirles por acá para que más o menos tengan la fecha que les corresponde a ustedes, ¿ok? Please. Veamos rápidamente. Let me show you quickly. Déjenme compartirles así rapidito. Very quickly. Ok, veamos acá. Today is my turn. Today is your turn, right? Les voy a compartir así en avanzado. Yes. Para que, solo para recordar. Yes. Bien. Let's see. Veamos. El día de hoy, ya dijo María, ¿verdad? Le corresponde a María Elena este día. Mañana, miércoles 28, le corresponde a Mauricio. La sesión privada a las 10. De 10 a 10 y 10. Bueno, un poquito después de las 10. El día jueves 29, le corresponde a Nelson Navarrete. Fue el 29. El día viernes 30 le corresponde a Néstor, Iván. Viernes 30, Néstor, Iván. El lunes 3 de mayo le corresponde a Oscar Almurzo. 3 de mayo. 
el martes 4 de mayo le corresponde a Roxana y a Milet, ¿ok? El 4 de mayo. El miércoles 5 de mayo le corresponde a Wendy Natalie. El jueves 6 de mayo le corresponde a Jacqueline Gloribel. Y el viernes 7 de mayo, último día de clase, le corresponde a Jocelyn Joan. ¿Ok? Para que tomen notas ahí de cómo vamos con las, con las, con, con las sesiones privadas. ¿Ok? Very good. So, for today, um, for today we have María Elena, right? For today we have María Elena, yes? Tengo una pregunta rápidamente. ¿Me escuchan cortado así a veces? ¿Se escucha cortado a veces? Sí, teacher. Sí, sí se pierde. Sí, en este momento oh. se le escucha cortado. Está, está pasando bastante seguido, ¿no? Sí, teacher. Hasta ahora, hasta ahora. Hasta ahora, ok, muy bien. Y hay algo, porque ahorita yo creo que la función de la internet está un poquito mala, aquí donde yo vivo. Entonces, si hay algo que yo salte y es importante y se corta la señal, me lo recaudan para repetírselo, por favor, para, porque hay algo muy importante que tal vez se esté explicando y, y por mala señal no, 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 no lo comprendan o se pasen algo importante, ¿ok? Así que me dicen, por favor, para repetirlo. Yes, please. All right. Ahorita sí está escuchando bien, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Yes. Ok, perfecto. So let's go to the sí, part. Teacher, solo que se queda congelado. Se queda congelado por momentos. A todos, para todos. For everybody. Sí, se, se congela en la pantalla. Ok, muy bien. Pero se escucha bien. Ahorita sí, teacher. Ok, lo que voy a hacer es que por un momento voy a apagar la cámara, tal vez eso me ayude a mejorar la, la velocidad, solo para explicarles, ok. No, pues, no porque no voy a estar pendiente de ustedes, sino para mejorar la velocidad, ok. Very good. So let's go to the, to the second part. Vamos a la segunda parte. So listen, in this second part, we have the present, the present simple and the present continuous. Tenemos present simple and present continuous. Now listen, ¿recuerdan algo del presente simple? Do you remember something about the simple present? Lo estudiamos en el nivel 1. We started simple present in level 1. Do you remember something? ¿Recuerdan algo? El do y el das, no. El do y el das, yes. Do and das, do and das. That's right, do and that's for questions, right? Para preguntas, for questions, very good. How did we make negative statements? ¿Cómo hacíamos oraciones negativas? With the simple present, con el presente simple. Doesn't and not, you don't teach. Ah, exactly, don't and doesn't. Don't and doesn't for negative. I don't, you don't, we don't. He doesn't, she doesn't, and he doesn't, right? Very good. Um, now, in positive sentences, in oraciones positivas, in positive sentences, le poníamos ese al verbo para he, she, it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, thank you. Yes, that's right. So we said, decíamos entonces, we said, she checks email every day. Yes, she checks. I send reports on Monday, for example, on Mondays. Or I usually, I usually work on Saturday. I usually work on Saturday. Y esto era presente simple. So, what is the purpose of the simple present? ¿Cuál es el propósito del presente simple? What is the purpose? Hablar acerca de qué? To speak about what? De nuestras rutinas diarias. Exactly. Yeah. To speak about our routines, para hablar acerca de nuestras rutinas, our routines, very good, thank you Maria, now listen, now let's go to the present continuous, 
ayer estudiamos el presente continuo y estar en the present continuous, pero para eventos futuros, for future events. But we have the present continuous for actions in the moment, for ongoing activities. También tenemos el presente continuo para actividades en este momento, in this moment. Ongoing activities or activities in this moment. For example, for example, I can say, Maria Peñate is paying attention in this moment. Maria Peñate, Maria Peñate is paying attention in this moment. So it's a, an action in this moment. Es una acción en este momento. It's an action in this moment. Okay? Good. So I can say, también podría decir, decir Mauricio, ¿se escucha bien ahorita? ¿O se escucha cortado? ¿Se escucha bien o se escucha cortado en este momento? Se le corta, teacher. Se corta. Sí, está muy mala sí, la señal. Se le corta. Disculpen que es algo que no está en mis manos. Cortado. ¿Se escucha cortadito? Ok, intentemos ahora. Let's try again. Intentemos otra vez. Let's try again. So, I can say. Yo puedo decir. Mauricio is looking at the camera. Mauricio is looking at the camera, right? In this moment. Mauricio is looking at the camera in this moment. Mauricio está viendo la cámara en este momento. So in this moment, en este momento. So básicamente es la misma estructura que estudiamos ayer, pero hoy esa estructura es para acciones en este momento, actions in this moment. So, question, pregunta. Pregunta. What is the difference between the simple present and the present continuous? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el simple present and the present continuous? Anybody? Alguien? What is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Anybody? Jocelyn? Maybe el complemento, porque al final dice, si es de, en este momento. Ok. Yes. Yeah. Ajá. Ya que dice que el complemento, in this moment, yes, la expresión de tiempo. Para, para las actividades de este momento, puedo decir, in this moment, o right now, por ejemplo, ahorita. In this moment, right now, o podría ser now, ahora, in this moment. Y para el presente simple, for the simple present, ¿qué expresiones puedo usar? A ver, alguien que me ayude. ¿Qué expresiones puedo usar para el presente simple? What expressions? Today. Today. Yeah. ¿Qué otra? Any other? Right now. Right now. No, pero right now es para el, present, para el presente continuo. No. For the simple present, para el de las rutinas. For the simple present, para el presente simple. For the simple present. El de las rutinas. The one for routines. Daily. Every day. Daily. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Weekly. Weekly. Exactly. We, I can say weekly. Every day. Every day. Sorry, Maria. In the morning. In the morning. Usually, in the morning, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Puedo decir también eh, adverbios de, de frecuencia. Frequency adverbs. Like usually, never, sometimes. Um, what? ¿Qué más? Generally. Usually. Yes. Usually. Usually. Uh -huh. Usually. Thank you, mister. Usually. Or always. También, ¿verdad? Siempre. Always. Always. Yeah. Muy bien, very good. Muy bien. Now let me show you a picture. Déjenme compartirles una imagen acerca de eso. Let me show you a picture about that. Acá está. So look at it. 
So please, take a moment, tomen un espacio, tomen un pequeño, un, un, un espacio o un momento. Read the examples, lean los ejemplos. Read the examples in the simple present, en el presente simple. And read the examples in the present continuous. Lean los ejemplos en el presente continuo. So take a moment and read quickly. Tomen un espacio y lean rápidamente los ejemplos. So I repeat, simple present and present continuous, okay? So read the examples quickly. Lean los ejemplos rápidamente. Okay. I am playing. I check me in. I check me in. I am. Is. For I am. I have me in. Nineteen. Everything. Building. I plan. I out. I am. I know. I will not me. Okay, very good, muy bien, very good. So listen, on column, on the column on the left, en la columna de la izquierda, we have the simple present. And on the column on the right, en la columna de la derecha, on the column on the right, we have the present continuous, right? Yes, Oscar, Oscar Arnulfo, can you read the examples about the simple present, please? The routine activities. I check my email every, every morning. Continue, continue. He, he writes report about meeting. Yeah. See how the inventories, they arrange a meeting. They arrange meetings. So these activities are in the present simples. Estas son rutinas. These are routines, right? Very good. Now let's see, um, Ember. Read the examples for the present continuous, Ember, please. Okay, I am planning a video conference. They are getting the documents ready. She's editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call. Thank you very much, Amber. So listen, escuchen ahora, listen, listen to something important, escuchen. So the activities on the right, las actividades de la derecha en el present continuo son activities in this moment or activities happening now. Actividades pasando en este momento. Activities happening now, in this moment, en este momento. And the activities on the left, las actividades de la izquierda, the activities on the left are routine activities. Son actividades rutinarias, routine activities. I check my email every morning. Okay. Activity, es una actividad rutinaria. And so the others, okay? Y así también las demás. So, do you have any question about the simple present and the present continuous? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No. No. Teacher, una consulta. Yes, Oscar. Tenemos la primer, la, la primer, la primer ejemplo en el presente simple. Eh, pasándolo a presente continuo sería I checking my email. Yes, pero ya no decimos every morning, porque si decimos Exacto. every morning sería una rutina. Ajá. Sería I am. Le agrega el, I am, I am. 
Aquí no, no tengo el. Ajá, sería el con el I am, porque es, es I am in my email. Exactly, uh, exactamente. Next week, tomorrow. Ajá, ah, sería I am checking my email in this moment, for example. Ok, para ser específicos. I am checking my email in this moment. Yeah. Yes, Oscar. Ok, thank you very much. All right, very good. Just don't forget. Solo que no se le olvide. En el present continuous, lleva el verbo to be. am, is, are. And the verb with ing. Y el verbo va con ing. Y en el presente simple, in the simple present, no es necesario esa ing en el verbo. Only the verb. Solo el verbo. Subject and verb. Sujeto y verbo. I speak three languages, for example. I Solo se le agrega la S. Si es tercera persona. Si es he checks. Si es tercera persona. Yes. For example, he checks email every morning. She arrives, yes, I S, early to work. Yes? Good. Excelente. Now listen. With the idea to practice the present continuous, con la idea de practicar el presente continuo, we will play a game. Vamos a jugar un juego. We will play a game. And the game is called Mimics. Y el juego se llama Mimics. Yes? So listen to the instructions. Escuchen las instrucciones. I will show you a list of vocabulary. Les mostraré una lista de vocabulario. I will show you a list of vocabulary. You will go to breakout rooms, van a ir a breakout rooms, and using the vocabulary, you will, you will discuss the meaning of the vocabulary. Discutirán primero el significado del vocabulario. Yes? I repeat. You will discuss the meaning of the vocabulary. Discutirán el significado del vocabulario. And afterwards, después de eso, afterwards, you will, turn, you will take turns Miming the vocabulary. Van a tomar turnos haciendo mímicas para el vocabulario. ¿Ya? Yeah? El que no esté haciendo mímicas tiene que adivinar. Has to guess. ¿Yes? Do you understand it? ¿Entienden qué es lo que se va a hacer? Do you get what you have to do? Yes? Let me give you an example. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Repeat, repeat, please. Sorry? Que si puede repetir, por favor. All right. Voy a poner el vocabulario, se lo voy a repetir para que esté claro. So it's clear. Listen. You will go to breakout rooms. Van a ir a breakout rooms. Y en los breakout rooms, in the breakout rooms, you will investigate or you will discuss the meaning of this vocabulary. Van a discutir el significado de todo este vocabulario que está aquí. Of all this vocabulary, ¿ok? Cuando ya sepan qué significa, when you know the meaning, you will, mean, you will mind the words. Van a tomar turnos para hacer mímicas de las palabras, de las frases que están acá. Yes? And the rest, el que no esté haciendo mímicas, los que no estén haciendo mímicas, they have to guess. Tienen que adivinar cuál, cuál frase es. Pero deben adivinar usando el present continuous. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, imagínense que yo hago la mímica para esta. Make phone calls. Make phone calls. Vamos. Ok, now. Hago la mímica. Ring. Ring. And then you tell me. Y ustedes me dicen. Make phone calls. Make phone calls. Look, but in present continuous, en presente continuo, porque es algo que yo estoy haciendo en este momento. Sería, you are making, making phone calls. You are making phone calls, right? Y luego, que, que haga la mímica a otro compañero y van así como en una ruedita. Ok, todos haciendo mímicas. En the rest guessing, lo que más adivinando, ¿ya? Y es clear, ahora sí está claro. Yes? Yes. All right. So yes, first, teacher. First, ¿Puedes poner otra vez la... Yes, ya se lo voy a poner. First, you discuss the meaning of the vocabulary. Second, you do mimics for the vocabulary and the others guess. Y los demás adivinan. Take turns, tomen turnos haciendo mimicas. Take turns, doing mimics. Okay? Making mimics, sorry. So let me show you the vocabulary again. Le voy a poner otra vez el vocabulario. Háganle una captura. Make a screenshot. Yes. Okay, there you go.
Ready? ¿Listos? No. Ok. No. Mr. Cabarreto, ¿no le hizo captura? Eh, no. Ok. Se lo voy a poner rápidamente para que se la haga. Very quickly, ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Ready, mister? Listo? Listo. Ok, perfect. So, let's go to work in teams. Vamos a trabajar en equipos entonces. Let's go to work in teams. All right? I will give you about 10 minutes. Le voy a dar alrededor de 10 minutos. I will give you about 10 minutes. All right? Let's go. Vamos a practicar entonces. Let's go to work. Quieren discutamos este lo de lo que significa cada lo del vocabulario. Edit information es editar información. Sí. Eh. O edición de información. Editar. Editar. Información. Eh, Send a Enviar un producto. Enviar un producto. Sí. Imprimir. Ese sí. Imprimir archivos. Ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. Producto. Imprimir, Jacqueline. Sí, lo busqué en el traductor. <ríe> ok. Ah, <ríe> por <ríe> Imprimir es archivos. Archivos. Meeting. Organizar. Reunión. Organizar. Organizar. Ajá. Arreglar, decía, pero no sé si. Ah, o arreglar reunión. Uh -huh. Pero ya unido. Concertar una reunión. Concertar una reunión, dice el traductor. El traductor. <risas> Google Translate. <risas> no confíen en, Google, en el traductor de Google. Don't, don't trust Google Translate. Never. <risas> Teacher, arrange, arrange meeting es organizar reuniones. Yes. O programar reuniones. Arrange meetings is like organizar o programar reuniones. Okay. O planificar reuniones, that is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Play attention. ¿Cómo? Como poner atención. Hay que no. Pero no. Pero no. <laughs> No. <risa> play es jugar. Pero pay. Ah, pay. Pay. Pay attention. Yo creo que eso es poner atención. Poner atención. Poner atención. <risa> In business, pay is pagar. En negocios, pay is pagar. ¿Ok? En otro contexto, como pay a bill. Ajá, pay a bill. Pay bill, es pay bill. Ah. A pay bills, pagar los recibos, pay, pay the bills. Okay. Eh, organize a presentation. Sí, es como organizar una presentación. 
organize. The pronunciation is organized. Organized. Una presentación. Escribir reportes es la siguiente, vea. Write reports. Escribir. Inicia entonces. Primero sería editar. She is editing information right now. Podría, podría, por ejemplo, hacer como que si estuviera algo que se corrige. En una pregunta, eh, para el segundo. Para el primero. Eh, ¿Cómo sería, perdón? Eh, imaginemos hacer la, la mímica que se está escribiendo algo y que se corrige y se escribe otra cosa. Puede ser edit information. Ok. Me gusta. Ah, Así como lo, lo, lo pensó ahorita. Okay. Okay. And send the product puede ser como que empaquetando. Empaquetando. Editing information. Ahora send the product. All right. Yeah. Perdón, María, ¿qué dijo? Nada, que quizás el, el objeto de... Bueno, sí, es hacer como la mímica, pero el objeto quizás es más como un oracito, la estructura de las oraciones. Quizás okay. si vamos tomando turnos y pues sí, ni modo, ahí lo hacemos como que vamos cada uno, pero okay. sabemos que vamos en orden. ¿va? Y la idea creo yo que es como ir haciendo la oración. Entonces, la primera sería is... Editing is... information. Editing. Es paging. Porque está en el momento haciendo. Perdón, este primero es... Editation. Editing. 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 Ah, porque hay que usar el, el ING. Editing information right now. Editing information now. Ahora. Okay. No, porque si ya le pone el ING, ya se sabe que es ahora. Ahí la segunda entonces. Dando una sería... información. Editando, editing, ajá, editing a informar. En el segundo, si quieren, hago yo la como la mímica. Ok. Sending. Sería sending. She, she, is, she is sending a report, a product, perdón. Ustedes hagan así como que ha llegado a Aeroflash. A enviar un paquete <risa> de products. Bring out the finds. Who is the next? Y el, y el otro sería. Pre, es, Quitar información, pues ahí sí no, no sé cómo lo podríamos hacer. Vamos, compañeros, vamos. ¿Y el de organize a presentation? Organizar una presentación. Mm. Eh, Como una agenda. Ajá, así. <risa> <risa> Más o menos ahí. <risa> Ajá. Vaya. Entonces. Usted es nuestra delegada. Ay, ay, no se está viendo el tic. <risa> ay, le da risa. I like your meaning. <risa> el tic. Ay, no. Ay, no. Ok. Eh. ¿Cómo? Ah, Brian on Finance. Ese. 
<risa> como la impresora y se queda pa, pa, hay que darle para que funcione ah, está bien, está bien. <risa> ajá como podemos hacer sonidos ¿verdad? sonidos y, y mímicos ajá quiero ver Go to the bank. Este... Ah, ese era así de como y algo que tenga que ver con dinero. Y así. <risa> ya, ahí solo así, ahí nunca para ver. <risa> Ay, hombre. Creo que ya las hicimos todas, vea. Sí, pero el, el Prime es el pues. Sí, sí. Ah. <risa> Sí, el sonido nada más porque no, no tenemos un impresor aquí. Ah, este. O, o, o así ve, así ve. Now that you have the mimics, I like your mimics, Jocelyn. Now that you have the mimics, you go and practice, right? Ahora que ya tienes las mímicas, you go and practice, all right? So Jocelyn, okay. you do mimic. Que haga algunas mímicas, Jocelyn. En Mauricio, en Gloribel, you, you say, hey, Jocelyn, you are checking email. Or you are writing before it, yes? Y toman turnos, and you take turns, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, perfect. Okay. Yo se le hice nuestro mimo. No, así. No. Ay, no. Ay, es para que se relajen, compañero. Mucho trabajo, mucho estrés. Vaya. <laughs> We arrange meetings, arranging meetings. Sabían cómo se escribe. No. Vaya, ahorita ya ve. Si lo puedes poner abajito. Okay. Arranging meeting. Arranging meeting. Arranging. Ajá, pero le dije, perdí, perdí a la ella, vio, solo se le pone el ING. Arranging. Hello, Beat, dicen en Nelson. No he iniciado con las mímicas. No, uh, no, no, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Take your time. Tomen su tiempo. Take your time. It's okay. Pero okay. Pues, creo que ya la tenemos, podemos comenzar con la mitad. En la otra serie, Gratings Report. Okay. Next, Jacqueline. Tengo que haber desorden aquí en San Salvador. <risa> Dichosos los que viven allá por Morazán que no, no tienen ah. este desorden. <risa> <Hey>. <risa> Teacher, ¿y cómo vamos a hacer mímica de organizar una presentación? Nos reunimos todos. Good question, good question. Good, I like your question, Saray. Maybe you can, you can pretend like, like you are organizing on a tablet or putting things in order, maybe like organize. No sé, creo que la, la pantalla de mi monitor voy a poner enfrente. Ah, sí, es ok. O en un cuaderno, tal vez, en un otro. Ya empezaron con las mímicas. Did you start with the mimics? Solo estamos pensando que vamos a hacer. Ok, let's start with it. Vamos. Okay. Let's go. ¿Y eso lo vamos a hacer acá o lo vamos a hacer allá en el grupo? No, aquí no, también. Aquí, solo aquí. Ah, hola. No. Le toca a Hazel, por ser la, la dama primero. Vamos, Hazel. Para ciento men, por Bien, 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 bien. Qué malo es, vaya. Aquí. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Ah? Tal, vez podrían preguntar, tal vez podrían preguntar, la pregunta sería, what am I doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? What am I doing? What 
am I what doing? Am I doing? Mm -hmm. Write a report. No. Edit information. Yes. Uh, okay, it's okay. It's perfect. But uh, Nestor, you have to say you are editing information because the idea is to use the present continuous. La idea es usar el presente continuo. So you say you are editing information. Yeah? Okay, continue. Continue. Continue, please. Okay, Nestor, ahora usted. <laughs> uh, you are paint or files. 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 Como files. Printing. Printing or files. Printing. Printing. Como sería, Jacqueline? Printing. 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 You say printing. 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 Ah, printing. Yes, the printing. sentence would be, la oración sería, you are printing out you are files. Printing. You are printing out files. Printing. Printing. Fileless. Vaya, we are the files. Files. Entonces sería, you are printing out files. Exactly. No, it's yes. Okay. Uh, let's, let's. Ah, ya que el ingreso que le iba. You are making phone calls. Mm-hmm. Making phone calls. Edgar? ¿Cuál cuenta? Creo que ya están todas, ¿no? No, orga... uh, organize know, for presentation. Uh, organize, organize, no. Uh -huh. Arrange meetings. Eso es lo que hacemos. Huele. Ajá. Arrange meeting. Organize a presentation. Check email tampoco. Ni edit, edit information tampoco. Ni send a product. Ajá. Híjole. Um, and a pro, sending a, you are sending a product. No, we are good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh huh. Eh. Ay. You are arranging, arranging, creo que sea, um, arranging meeting. No. O oh, edit information, editing information. Number two, number one. Two. Number okay. Two. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, Roxana. Roxana. Yes. Trending approach. His, sería his. And then the Yes. Trending up. Okay. Okay, let's make turn. Um, he's uh, making phone calls. Making, making phone calls. Making, making, making phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ahora, vamos otra vez. Nuevamente con see. Mary. Vamos a ver, pero vea. Aquí. Ah, 
No la, no la veo, María. ¿Qué? Ah, María, sorry. Yo tampoco vi. Uh, she is to go to the bank. Right. Yes. Me vuelvo a dejar el hombre el piso ahí. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I turn. Um. She is a printing file. Yes. Yes. She is printing file. Ahora me toca a mí, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ok. Please write your report. Oh, Eddie. Es correcto. Report. Correct. Okay. Write your report. Yes. Okay. Uh, Creo que ya lo van a secar. Exacto. <laughs> bueno, pues lo bueno que. Me Nos algunas. Como <risa> alguna. Gracias, compañeros. Bueno, bye. 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 Veo que no se quieren salir algunos. <risa> no se quieren salir de la sala de práctica. Estaba divertido, teacher. Was, yeah, Estábamos divirtiéndolo bastante. Solo que como estoy en lo oscuro, no me miran. <laughs> hay imágenes, hay imágenes, me imagino. Vamos a esperar, creo que faltan algunos que se unan. Okay? Let's wait for them, for the main session. Uh, so, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Disfrutaron ahorita haciendo mímicas, right? You enjoy yes. it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Just don't lose, uh, don't lose the focus. Solo que siempre me gusta porque no pierden el enfoque aunque estén jugando. The idea is to practice a topic, right? Practicar un tema de lo que estamos estudiando. The idea is to practice a topic yes. you are studying in a funny way, de una forma diferente y divertida, in a different way. All right. So it's then already. Creo que ya, ya, ya lo sacó a todos. Como que... No sé qué les pasó a los demás, tenía bastante conectados y ahorita solo tengo ya eh, como 16 o... Ya fueron a dormir, man. Se fueron a dormir los demás. They went to bed. Oh, se fueron man. a dormir, ahí vienen uno. Vienen <risa> apareciendo ya, teacher. Los que no se querían salir del break room vienen ahorita. Estaban a hacer ahí Me mate. Me sacó de su... Mentira, no querían regresar, teacher. No querían <risa> regresar, man. Yes, ok. Uh, so, quickly, le voy a pasar asistencia rápidamente. La última vez, the last time, okay, so please pay attention carefully, estén atentos. Okay? Okay, let me see. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Present. Carlos David, no, ¿verdad? Edgar Alexander. Present, teacher. Ember. I'm here. Para ahí. I'm here. Jacqueline. ¿Qué se nos hizo Jacqueline? Se nos salió Jacqueline, una de las que se salió. Jorge, no, ¿verdad? Juan Carlos tampoco. Eunice tampoco. María Elena. Sí, yeah, sí, sí. Mauricio. Present. All right. Nelson. I'm here. Nestor. I'm here. Good. Yeah. Oscar Arturo. Present. Roxana. Roxana, hello. Se salió Roxana. Ok, Natalie. Creo que se lo voy a tener o no. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Um, Jacqueline. Present. All right. Natalie. Natalie. Natalie también estaba conectada. Okay. Very good. Um, Jocelyn. 
I'm here, teacher. Yesenia, que no se conectó, ¿verdad? All right, thank you very much. Good. Just before we go, antes de que nos vayamos, just before we go, I want you to help me with something quickly. Quiero que me ayuden con algo rápidamente. Help me with something quickly. Solo se queda el de la sesión privada después de que terminemos la siguiente actividad, ¿ok? So let me go quickly. Déjenme compartir. Eso que dicen. So please, look at this activity. Miren esta actividad. Look at this activity. So we need to complete... These sentences with the present continuous. Necesitamos completar estas oraciones con el presente continuo. So number one is, Thomas is printing out the contract. Or is printing the contract. Number two. ¿Cómo quedaría la número dos? Meeting. We're in meeting with the boss right now. Um, meeting, pero ¿qué falta? Uh, is meeting. meeting. Ah, is. Uh, Cheryl is. is. is Meeting sería, right? Meeting, okay? It's meeting, yes. okay? Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Very good, muy bien. Move on. Number three, la número tres, ¿cómo quedaría? Is taking care of the He is taking care of everything. He is taking care of everything. He is taking care of Cuidar. 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 Exactly. Take care is cuidar. Okay, so he is taking care cuidando. of everything. Está, está cuidando todo. Yes. Number four, la número cuatro. I am, am paying attention. I am paying attention. attention. Very good. You say, I am paying attention to the instructions. Okay. Number five, la número cinco, number five. She is preparing. She is preparing. Ah, exactly. She is preparing. Con ING preparing the briefing. Very good. Number six. La número seis. They are sending. 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 Excellent. They are sending. Con ING the products to the warehouse. In the warehouses, like, like, la bodega, right? They are sending the product to the warehouse. Good. Solo en prepare. Cuando le ponemos ING, le quitamos la E, ¿verdad? Y le ponemos ING. Si termina en E, le quitamos la E y le ponemos ING. Preparing. Okay, so that's important. Eso es importante. Okay. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. It's time. Ya nos pasamos un poquito. <laughs> All right, but listen, just before you go, solo antes de que se vayan, before you go, don't forget to complete the platform work. No se le olvide ir completando siempre el trabajo de la plataforma para que así el día viernes yo, tengo, yo al solo terminar la sesión pueda hacer un registro de los, pueda hacer el consolidado de las notas, ¿ok? So, that's it for yes. today. That's it for today. Eso es todo por hoy. And good night. See you tomorrow. Les veo mañana, ¿ok? See you tomorrow, okay? Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Maria, how are you? I am fine. Thank you. Oh, nice. And you? Nice. Very good. So you know this space is for you, right? So you can ask any questions about the class. So go ahead. Adelante. Debo preguntar del ING. Eso, habíamos visto eso con los compañeros, que se quitaba la E, pero es la única letra que se quita, ¿verdad? Si es O, se pone siempre ING. Y si es yeah. consonante... Siempre, solo en el caso de E es la que se intercambia. No, there is one more rule. Hay una regla más, aparte de la E. Ok, let me show you. Um, so, in the case of E, en el caso de la E, right, for example, we say, mm -hmm. writing, like, damos la E, ¿verdad? Writing. It could, be, it could be dance, podría ser también el verbo dance. So, we say, dance. dancing. We omit the letter E, le quitamos la letra E. Okay, so there's one more rule. Hay una regla más, el verbo get, for example. 
get. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Cuando hay consonante, vocal, consonante, para ponerle la ing, we double the last consonante. Le duplicamos la última consonante. Mm -hmm. Tenemos el verbo eh, fit, por ejemplo. Es como ajustar. O oh, como tiene consonante, vowel consonant, decimos fitting. With double T, with double consonant, con doble consonante, ok? Fitting, ¿ya? Yeah. Mm. Solo dos reglas, only two rules to put ING, no para hacer. poner el ING. Mm -hmm. Y la estructura se mantiene con el sujeto, que sería el I am. Sí, el sujeto. Oh, ajá. For the present sujeto continuous, el... for the present sí, continuous. Sí. Ah, cuando es en continuo y cuando es en... Es que hay dos momentos, uno que es continuo y el otro es... El simple. El simple. Yes, it's the same structure, es la misma estructura. Es la misma. Subject, plus verb, plus, plus complement. Este es para el present simple, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I speak, el verbo, right? I speak. El complemento sería three languages, por ejemplo. Three languages, por ejemplo. Yo hablo tres idiomas. I speak three languages, all right? Ese es el presente simple. That's in the present simple. En el presente continuo va a haber un pequeño cambio. So, why? ¿Por qué? Aquí tenemos el subject, el sujeto. Plus, aquí tenemos ahora el verbo que dije, que puede ser a. Y on. Okay, y agregamos el auxiliar, el verbo auxiliar, y auxiliar el verb. Y luego el verb también tiene un pequeño cambio. Why? Porque le agregamos ing. Okay, y luego siempre el complement. Plus the complement. Example, ejemplo. I could say, podría decir, um, I am. Um, what? Writing. I am writing el verbo. Con IA y con ING. I am writing um, mm -hmm. on, on the board, for example. Estoy escribiendo en la pizarra. I am writing on the, mm -hmm. on the board. I am writing mm -hmm. on the board. Mm -hmm. Igual si digo he, she, is, ¿verdad? He is, she is. For example, he is writing, she is writing. O si digo we, we are writing. We are they, writing. they are writing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. ¿Y cuándo es que tiene que ver con el tiempo? ¿Que si es ahora mismo o si es...? It depends, todo depende, it depends on the time expression. Todo depende de la expresión de tiempo que use, on the time expression I am using, ¿ok? O la intención, or my intention. For example, imagine I say, um, he is... Sending, he's sending um, a report. Just to give you one example, solo para darte un ejemplo. He's sending a report tomorrow. Tengo tomorrow. Ah, estoy usando el present continuo, pero lo estoy usando para un propósito. ¿eh? Futuro. He's sending a report tomorrow. Ella va a enviar un reporte mañana. She's sending a report tomorrow. Okay. Pero esa misma oración podría ser si la hago She is sending a report right now. Yes. Y eso ya sería en el momento. Okay. Esa es el right now cambia todo. He is sending por ejemplo a a report or in this moment I podría decir right now. Report. Uh, in this moment. moment. Or right now. Or right now in this case. Right now. Now, she is sending a report right now. Ella está enviando un reporte ahorita. So, this changes everything. Eso es que lo cambia todo. La estructura es la misma. ¿Qué es lo que cambia todo? El verbo, el, 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 perdón, la expresión de tiempo, de time expression, ¿ok? Y eso va a depender del contexto en el que esté sucediendo las cosas, digamos. Yes, exactly. It depends on the context. Depende del contexto en el que queramos, queramos perdón, utilizar 
eh, ese tipo de oración que queremos utilizar, ya sea en futuro o en, para acciones en el momento. Uh -huh. También, también podemos hacer en negativo. For example, uh, she is not sending the reports tomorrow. She is not. ¿Y uh, quién es este? Ah, eso le voy a preguntar. Y se puede de, de las dos formas, porque es, yeah. se puede contraer y se puede dejar separado. Yes, the two forms, sí. las dos formas, the two forms. Mm -hmm. Otra cosa me, me iba a decir, me parece. Ah, eh, la otra es este. Eh, ese es un tema pasado, el del how many, how much. Ok, how many es para plural. En how much es para nombres no contables. How many, por ejemplo, siempre sigue una palabra en plural. How many books, cuántos libros. How many books do you have, cuántos libros tienes. Es en plural. How many books. Do you have, okay? For example, or how many laptops? How many laptops does your company have? For example, how many laptops, Lura, does your company have? Yes? El how much? El how much se usa para no, para cosas que no se pueden contar. For example, por ejemplo, ¿qué no se puede contar? El paper, el papel en general. En general, right? In general. How much paper do you need? ¿Cuánto papel necesitas? How much paper do you need? Or, ¿qué más no se puede contar? What? Como la carga del teléfono, no. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. How much battery do you have? ¿Cuánta batería tienes? How much battery do you have? Uh -huh. Ajá, puede ser también que, what? El hierro, por ejemplo. How much metal? Do you need? ¿Cuánto metal necesitas? How much metal do you need? El metal. Yes. Eso todavía. Hay, hay momentos en que eso todavía me confunde. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo ocupar how much? ¿Y cuándo ocupar how many todavía? Sí, solo es de recordar. El how many es para plurales. How many books? How many laptops? How many computers? How many cars? Cars. How many pencils? How many notebooks? Es para plural. Cosas que se pueden contar. Pero hay algunas cosas que no se pueden contar. Entonces ahí entra el how, how much. ¿Cuánta tinta, Ajá. ¿Cuánta tinta necesitas para la computadora, por ejemplo? La tinta no se puede contar. So you say, how much ink do you need for the computer? Ahí entra el how much. Ok. Okay. O, o water, que es agua. How much water do you want? ¿Cuánta agua quieres? How much water do you want? Mm -hmm. okay. Pero esta, aunque digamos al final la respuesta podría ser a cup, un vaso, pero no... no. En la respuesta puedo dar, puedo dar algo contable. Puedo, puedo mencionar el recipiente, por ejemplo, para, para hacerlo contable. Una botella, a barro, pero ya estoy poniendo el recipiente. Hola. Ya lo estoy haciendo contable, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Esas dos quizás son las que más me complican ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ah, y que me dijo que iba a averiguar cuál era la palabra. Había una palabra. Mm, cancillería. Cancillería, cancillería. Veamos ahorita. Creo que es counseling, pero voy a, voy a, voy a revisar. Cancillería. ¿Pero a qué se refiere en sí la palabra? Es que en el trabajo me mandaron, bueno, al final después me lo mandaron en español, uh -huh. pero mandaron en que era sobre eso, era sobre que vamos a ir a Cancillería o que nos estaban invitando a ir a Cancillería. Uh -huh. Pero al final mmm, mandaron el correo en español. Ok, es, I have it here, por acá lo tengo. Ofici es muy, como una oficina de, diplomática, algo así. Ajá, son como diplomáticos. 
Ok, muy bien. Sería, I don't know, the, I have it here, but I don't know the pronunciation. Chancellery. Chancellery, sería, chancellery. Sí. Se escriben chancellery, con ya al final, chancellery. Chancellery. Uh -huh. Y es, eh, bueno, ajá. Uh -huh. Me imagino que en todos los países tiene que ver eso como una can como cancillería, ¿va? no solo es yes. aquí. No, 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 es general, aquí es, lo estoy okay. viendo ahorita, es general. Ajá. Mm -hmm. ah, es. Ok. Muchas gracias. Ok, María, thank you for connecting, gracias por conectar. A usted por enseñarnos. Yeah, it's see okay. you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye, see you tomorrow, good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.